hello guys and welcome to another video series on rcc and in this video we'll be discussing about long column what is a long column then so we have to understand the tom slenderness ratio that i'll be discussing later on so basically if okay that is the slenderness ratio is greater than 12 okay then it is termed as a long column so mathematically slenderness ratio that is represented as lambda L effective divided by minimum lateral dimension a column will have two dimension on X and Y axis so taking the minimum value we have to check it for both effective length that is along major axis and minor axis so we have considering uh, we are, as we are considering major axis as X and Y axis respectively okay now if this is greater than 12 then a column is termed as long column so due to slender column okay slender means if the effective length or length becomes much more greater than that of the lateral dimension it is termed as a slender structure okay due to slender column extra moment due to uh, buckling develops in both axes if slenderness ratio is greater than 12 okay so let me draw a figure here suppose this is a column fixed on both end now if it becomes slender then this buckling occurs okay if the length is greater than that of the dimension buckling occurs and this buckling will surely induce a moment and for this moment the code has given us the value so moment along x-axis that is additional moment along x-axis PUD okay PUD by 2000 L effective X divided by D to the power square okay similarly MDY that is PUD by 2000 L effective Y by B square okay these are the additional moments okay now the design moment as we design a beam or a column with respect to the load acting on it so design moment MD along both axis will be a addition of existing moment and these additional moments so MUX plus K into MAY okay and MDY is equal to MUY plus K into MAX okay you have to make sure that along MDX you have MAY and along MDY you have MAY for K K is a term which is obtained by using this relation PUZ minus PU by PUZ minus PB and where PUZ is com pure compressive load acting on the column PU is the axial load on column and PB is a force or it is a load that is calculated from table 6 page number uh, 171 okay table 60 page number 171 sp 16 so you can see here we have uh, as i said in the code so page number 171 slender compression member now you have the term there for circular and rectangular and the value of k1 and k2 can be determined additional or uh, that is design moment can be calculated you can also find this additional moment in the clause 39.7.1 of is 456 okay as i said uh, please make a correction over there that may and max as i just said in the previous section also and may is the moment due to buckling about x-axis along y-axis as I said 